no fun when you're alone. But no matter what we're going through, together we can find our way home. So come on and see the world over, and everything will be just fine. You and I can wait until the sun. So come on and see the world over, together we can dream in time. And nothing's gonna stop us having fun. So come on and see the The thing with secrets is, the reason they're secrets in the first place is that no one should know about them. So when the wrong people get their hands on your secrets, total disaster and humiliation are never far behind. Let me explain. My mum got a new boyfriend, Andy. He seemed nice enough, although his wardrobe was still stuck back in the 80s. Liz, can you get that? It'll be Andy. Personal delivery. Go away, Marco. We have a mailbox, you know. Careful in there, man. She almost broke my nose. Right. Thanks for the advice. Come on, sweetheart. Sweat it out. I'm sweating. It didn't take long before Mum and Nandy were spending Grace. all their time together. How am I doing? Doing great. Now step with me. And one and two and three and four. Let's face it, there are two things adults really shouldn't do. One is aerobics. I'm getting it. I'm really getting it. He so wasn't getting it. And the other thing they should never do under any circumstances is... I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I tried to focus on more important things that were going on in my life. No one else seemed that interested. <laughs> Mum, my ballet exam starts soon. Yes, darling. You were going to do my hair? Pardon? My hair! Sure, just a dick. You don't have to. I can probably do it myself. It's not like I'm a kid. I agree. You're perfectly capable of doing it yourself. So how did it go? Was the ballet exam really that bad? <laughs> Next. Maybe the examiner didn't notice. Knock, knock. We thought it was you two. Hi, Linz. How did the exam go? OK. Was it just OK? Come on, Fliss, talk to the camera. Hey, take us through the exam. When you're a famous ballerina, people will queue to watch this tape. What's with the video? Wow, I've always wanted one of those. It's got surround sound and everything. Well, you know what? I was thinking you guys are having your sleep over here tomorrow night. How would you like Andy to record it for you? Don't you think that's a great idea, Fliss? <laughs> what do you think? That would be so cool. <laughs> Anyway, it's a really dumb idea, and if you don't want to do it, that's fine. Because neither do I. Dumb idea? Are you kidding? It's a brilliant idea. That's what I thought. Why would we run a video of us? Can you think of anyone else more interesting? Exactly. Anyway, I'm going to be a famous movie star. Better start practicing. It'll be fun. You think it's a good idea? It'll be a hoot. Quick, there's Ryan Scott. Throw me the ball. I think you really impressed him. Hey, cheer up. Tonight's going to be the most exciting sleepover ever. Come on, girls, at least give us a smile. You need to relax. Frankie, tell us about the sleepover club. Um, it's a club and we sleep over. It got worse. 
much worse. Um, I like sport, football, tennis, athletics, swimming, kayaking, netball, discus, trampolining, football. Did I say that already? Lint, uh, how long have you been in the sleepover club? Um, quite a while. My friends are normally yeah. a lot more interesting than this. I promise you. Andy, this isn't working. Now, come on. What's the inside word on this club? This video could be a time capsule. What secrets do you want people to dig up in a hundred years' time? We can't tell you that. Why not? Because they're secrets. That's the point. But what if I promise not to tell anyone? Andy, forget it, OK? Look, these are my friends. I'd appreciate spending some time with them without you interfering and ruining everything. <clears throat> You better record over that bit. I did it! I won the sleeping bag strip! One of your buttons is done up wrong. What? Nothing. We were just... Wondering if you're okay. Yeah. Of course I'm okay. Why wouldn't I be okay? What you said to Andy before. You're pretty hard on him. I didn't mean to be rude. It's just he's trying too hard. He's mum's boyfriend, not mine. Yeah, but you must be pleased for your mum. She's been heaps happier since he came along. Yeah, of course I'm happy. I'm happy. They're happy. Everyone's happy. Hey, guys. I've got an idea. It's not like he's the only one who knows how to use a video camera. This is the highly confidential sleepover time capture recording that no one else will ever see. Okay. The challenge tonight is for each one of us to tell a secret. This is as naff as when Andy was doing it. Not just a sleepover secret. Something you've never told anyone here before. Ah. That's a cool idea. Of course it's a cool idea. I thought of it. <laughs> hey, don't damage the equipment. So, who's first? Okay. The greatest secret I've never told is about Ryan Scott. I've got it all planned. First, our wedding with you guys as bridesmaids. We buy a house, two-storey, modern kitchen, granite worktops, Italian appliances, of course. Then we have kids, boy first, Ryan Jr., and then a little girl, Rihanna. Rihanna? <laughs> what? You ready? I haven't always supported Men United. <gasps> I know it's unbelievable, but before I turned eight, I supported Arsenal. <gasps> no one outside this room should ever know about this. Until I was seven, I used to share my bath with Michael. Ugh. I'm emotionally scarred. Thinking of seeing my parents. You can't let this change your opinion of me. I'm still the coolest person you know, all right? I've still got a blankie. Well, I know it's babyish, but we already know about your blankie. I can't believe you knew. All this time I've been so embarrassed about Woozy. Woozy? For nothing. Woozy? Woozy? You know how my mum died a while ago? This is going to sound really dumb, but I still talk to her. Like when I'm worried about something at school. And the weirdest thing is, I can hear her talk back. It's mum's voice in my head. Anyway, it's kind of nice. Like, she's still looking out for me. Rosie.
think I'm a big weirdo now, don't you? Not at all. No. You're not a weirdo at all. Sometimes things don't seem to well, are we going to have this midnight feast or what? Just yeah! Rosie, are you awake? <laughs> I can't sleep. <sighs> I think I just found the problem. I'm lying on a packet of marshmallows. Seems a shame to waste them. You know what you said about your mum before? I was pretty brave. When did she die? Three years ago. Same time as Dad left. You must miss him too. Not really. I'm totally over it. Although, sometimes, I wonder why he left. It was really sudden. You'll always have your mum. I guess. I wasn't looking forward to facing Mum after the Andy thing. She was giving me the cold shoulder, so I decided to tackle things head on. Where's Callum? I'm staying at Josh's house. He didn't want to be anywhere near one of your sleepovers. A wise move. Mum, I wasn't being rude to Andy. I was just having an honest adult discussion. Is that what it was? I mean, this is just part of getting older, right? As I get more independent, we won't always like the same things. And Andy happens to be one of those things? No, Andy's fine, Andy's nice. I just think we should feel comfortable about not being so close. I mean, I'm 12, remember? Before you know it, I'll be married with kids and my own place. <laughs> well, I guess it's good to know you're being mature and realistic about your future. Do you know the definition of share? Yeah, it means you get to use it when I don't need it. We'd given the tape to Linz and she promised she'd look after it. I realise now we were naive to think the tape would be safe where an M&M lurks. What's that? Nothing. The official top secret... The official top secret what? Nothing! You guys had a sleepover last night. There's something to do with that, isn't it? Bye, Michael. No! 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 Anyone would be bad, but the M&Ms. I'm really sorry. I tried to get it back. This is a total disaster! Do you realise this means that they're going to know that I used to support Arsenal? How am I supposed to face them after that? I don't want the M&Ms feeling sorry for me. One word for you. Woozy. Yep, that's bad. You never should have admitted that. I'll be totally humiliated when they find out about Ryan Jr. and Rihanna. What if they tell Ryan? He might not even like run at work tops. This was all Andy's fault. It was his idea. If it wasn't for his stupid video, we wouldn't be in this mess. Fliss, we will get the tape back. I promise. Hi there, snooze team. Can't you see we're busy? Fine. Just thought we'd say how much we're looking forward to seeing your top secret video after school. Ooh. Haven't you heard? The M&Ms are doing a screening at Marco's house. They've invited everyone. Can't wait to see what you get up to on your little sleep overnight. Well, look 
who's here? The stars of the show. Would you like to buy a ticket? They're in it, stupid. Oh, yeah. Two dollars to see the sleepover girls. You know, we might be vaguely scared if it wasn't for the fact you have no idea what you're doing. Yeah, you can't screen this tape without the proper camera. Well, Marco's got one. He's also got a giant TV screen. OK, how much do you want? I've got $67.45. We'll take it. We're not interested in bribery. It'll be worth far more to see you guys showing your top secret secrets. <laughs> <laughs> In only three hours, the whole school is going to know our deepest secrets. What do we do? Leave the country forever? Go to Africa? What? I just want to say it's been really nice knowing you guys. This was a low point for the sleepover club. We had lost our fighting spirit. We needed it back, and fast. We're not about to give up, girls. I refuse to be humiliated in front of the whole school. It's just not going to happen. There must be some way to get that tape back. And then, Kazam! The ID came to me. Blackmail. We need a piece of information about them, which is just as embarrassing. Is there anything in the entire universe more embarrassing than our tape? Yes. There is. I can't believe I didn't think of this before. Kenny hatched an immature but effective plan that would delay the M&Ms for a short time after school while we raced over to Lindsay's house. Oh, yuck! The leftover club. Got it. Let's go. Trust me, guys, with this, we'll run those cowboys right out of town. We were dying to know what was on that tape, but there just wasn't time. You girls, coming in? You wouldn't go to $100, would you? Just before you show the tape. We might have something you're interested in. Something Michael in particular might be interested in. No way. It can't be. I promise she'd get rid of it. She couldn't bring herself to do it. Mum was so proud of her little cabaret star. What's going on here? What's this tape? Michael, are you going to tell him? If it's what she claims it is. It's not something I want out there. Oh, come on, Mike. Don't be a wuss. How bad can it be? It's bad, right? Real bad. Are you feeling lucky today, Michael? Collins, this is war. And every war has casualties. In this case, it's you. Yeah. In the end, that's worth it. We get to see the sleepover girls totally embarrass themselves. It's simple, Michael. Neither of us gets humiliated. Or we both do. Sleepover thing. Uh, secret women's business, eh? Something like that. You know, you used to tell me all your secrets. You were hopeless. You couldn't hold them in. I miss that sometimes. I guess you really don't have time for that stuff anymore. What do you mean? Well, with Andy and everything. Fliss, that's not true. You don't think having Andy around affects the way I feel about you, do you? I've been trying to give you some space. It's OK if you want to invade my space occasionally. Kids come to expect that from parents. Hey. 
Hi. I've got a time capsule to bury. Don't let me stand in your way. Time is ticking on. Tragic joke, Andy. Sorry. Um, you're okay, you know. I am? As a person, like on a scale of one to ten, you'd be at least a six. Right. I have a feeling coming from you that's a compliment. <laughs> yeah, well, don't get used to it or anything. Now, you're probably dying to know what was on that video Michael was so embarrassed by. So are Matthew and Mungo. <laughs> I didn't know you liked you're Mexico. So <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, what legs. I didn't realise you had this hidden talent. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have gone for a leg kick there though. <laughs> Maybe a spin. And then a kick. <laughs> oh, I know. One more time. Yeah. Can I sit through it again? This really is very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Should we dig it up? I think we should wait until we're really ancient. Like 30. <laughs> I'll have to fly back from Hollywood to be with you all. But I promise I will. That's big of you, Frankie. I might see you at the airport. I'll be managing Man United, but I'm sure they'll spare me for a few days. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I'll get Ryan to look after the kids. It's about time he pulled his weight. I'll be pretty busy running my riding school, but I'll do my best to get here. I'll definitely be here. I'll be doing research for my best-selling novel, Famous Lives of the Sleepover Girls. <laughs> oh, I wonder what we'll all be like by the time we're 30. Who knows, maybe the others will be as mature and sophisticated as me by then. Although, I seriously doubt it. Don't you? Better keep that one a secret. <laughs> <laughs>